Mr. Chairman, dear colleagues, thank you for the opportunity to present our work about the remodeling of your pallial barrier after spinal cord injury in mice and the putative role of the PUFA, polyunsaturated fatty acids. I have nothing to disclose. Recent studies in animal models have demonstrated that changes in neurothelial barrier integrity occur after spinal cord injury. These changes are characterized by neurothelial regenerative processes that occur early post lesion, but are still maintained over time and are associated with increased cell proliferation, reduced cell differentiation, leading to reduced density of umbrella cells. Spinal cord injury also leads to a rapid disruption of the urothelial barrier with an increased permeability at the acute phase. In the bladder, the PUFA derivatives, in particular prostaglandin E2 and prostaglandin D2, are involved in the regulation of urothelial homeostasis and inflammatory processes. PGE2 is thought to have a role in epithelial repair and PGD2 is thought to have a role in neurothelial differentiation by binding and activating the PPOR gamma receptor. However, their role upon neurothelial barrier functions and associated processes such as cell proliferation, cell death, remains currently unknown as well as their involvement in spinal cord injury induced neurothelial dysfunctions. Therefore, the objectives of our study on mice model were to characterize the morphological remodeling of urothelial barrier using, for the first time, full field optical coherence tomography, FFOCT, to assess functional barrier remodeling, as well as PUFA derivatives expression in bladder samples in a mice model of chronic spinal cord injury. Concerning the animal model, complete spinal cord transection was performed at the T3, T4 level. Sham mice were obtained after surgery without spinal cord transection using the same protocol. At four weeks, mice were sacrificed and bladder were removed for morphological study using FFOCT. Permeability studies were performed in using chambers. Paracellular and transcellular permeability were assessed by measuring the flux of sulfonic acid and horseradish peroxidase, respectively, across the epithelial barrier from apical to serosal site. Finally, transcriptomic analysis, QPCR, was performed to characterize PUFA derivatives mRNA expression. Regarding the results on permeability, no change was observed in paracellular permeability. However, a significant reduced transcellular permeability was observed in spinal cord injury as compared to sham mice. This was associated with a significant reduction in mRNA expression of ZO1, claudine 1, and claudine 3, known to be involved in tight junction regulation. Furthermore, Major morphological remodeling of the urothelium was observed in spinal cord injury group as compared to sham mice using FFOCT. The density of small superficial cells was significantly higher, increased by 7.5 fold, and the umbrella cells were significantly smaller with a diameter decreased by two fold. These morphological changes were associated with a significant reduction in mRNA expression of differentiation markers of umbrella cells, CK20 and UPK2. DGRNA second analysis of bladder tissue revealed differential mRNA expression of 321 genes between spinal cord injury and sham tissues. Interestingly, enrichment of differentially expressed genes on gene ontology revealed clusters of genes associated with epithelial cell proliferation in green, cell adhesion, medium green, and growth response in bright green. In particular, spinal cord injury increased genes involved in activation of wind 
in the HOC signaling pathway with reduced expression of differentiating genes. Furthermore, spinal cord injury induced a significant reduction in mRNA expression of key enzymes involved in PUFA metabolism, COX-1, COX-2, PTGES, and PTGDS in the bladder. Interestingly, analysis of PUFA derivatives in urine of spinal cord injury mice showed a significant decrease in PGE2 concentration as compared to sham and mirroring the tissue reduction of COX-1, COX-2, and PDG PTGES mRNA expression. In conclusion, four weeks after spinal cord injury, major functional and morphological remodeling of the urothelium occur that are suggestive of ongoing and incomplete epithelial regenerative processes. These changes are associated with altered lipidomic signature of PUFA derived mediators, suggesting their defective contribution to these changes and the maintenance of a pro regenerative phenotype of the ruothelium. Further studies are needed to demonstrate their direct role in these changes and their putative use as biomarkers and or therapeutic target in lower urinary tract dysfunction in spinal cord injury patients. Thank you for your attention.